Volkswagen Racing Cup, which once again um, didn't fail to uh, um, entertain and uh, delight the crowds um, in being one of the most um, action-packed, eventful, hard-fought championships around. Indeed. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, two races we had for the Volkswagen Racing Cup, uh, like the British GT. Um, and as you say, two very um, excite exciting events and um, two different winners uh, in the end. We had uh, Simon uh, Walton claim the pole position and seemed to be the fastest guy all weekend. Simon, um, he gained two pole positions, uh, uh, sorry, two fastest laps, I should say, and should have been the guy to beat. But um, drama happens as as it does and as a result the first race came and it was josh coggan who took um race one victory um for the dw racing outfit uh, driving the golf um it was a close fought race actually for coggan having spent um the few laps that they had racing with rob allen mm. um who ha himself had made a great getaway um the two of them though had pulled a significant gap by the end of the second lap when unfortunately a safety car was called and an eventual red flag was um, set out after a large accident between uh, Dan Crosley and former British touring car racer Brett Smith. Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, both, uh, both, I should say both drivers um, did um, exit their vehicles unassisted. Oh, uh, okay. they uh, They were taken to hospital for checks, but um, yes, both, uh, both drivers are... Um, both, dri both drivers are well, yes. Okay, well that's good. And uh, for those who uh, who um, um, are, are curious um, as to the description of what Connor means by a large accident, um, yes, I'm, I'm sure you can find it on the internet. Um, it was a large accident, but uh, it's good to see that uh, Brett and Dan both okay. Um, but uh, did they compete in race two, Connor? Uh, sadly not. Um, the Both cars will need serious um repair and it's likely that crosley's car will be written off for the season which is very unfortunate <laughs> um but hopefully we'll get to see them back at some point soon um in the uh, in the vw paddock um for the time being though as you say race two did get underway and was a full length uh, feature for this one uh with a real big battle at the front between martin depper and lewis smith this time um smith is the um, the former Super Silhouette champion, a very um, obscure Bark Championship, I believe. Um, I say um, I, I say it's obscure, obscure, but obviously it's a very um, fantastic championship for those involved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I didn't know what it was either. <laughs> um, but he stepped up from Super Silhouette the season after um, becoming their champion, has really settled into Max for motorsport. Um, but Smith was fantastic off the line, jumping from tenth to first in the opening lap. Um, made the best start of ad, out of anyone all weekend um, and proceeded to pull away slightly in the first couple of laps. But Depper, obviously being uh, another experienced touring car racer, slowly reeled him in. Mm -hmm. And in the latter laps, uh, Depper had saved his tyres a bit more. And it was a fantastic overtake in the end. He set him up um, throughout uh, Brundle into the chicane at the end of the back straight at, Snet at Snetterton, sorry. Um, going through Bomb Hall, he took a much a uh, tighter line as opposed to Smith who was forced onto um, the dirtier outside line um, force, um, he was sort of pushed onto three wheels basically just for the, for the sheer momentum going around um, that corner and then as they broke down into the uh, broke into the final corner um, Depper managed to s squeeze around the outside of the um, of Quorum and out drag him onto the line for the final two laps and that was Depper gone um, so a fantastic race win for Martin Depper who does actually take the championship lead um, over Josh Coggan by nice. two points as a result of that uh, Lewis Smith was second and Coggan did manage to recover to finish third um, yeah, well done to uh, to Martin Depper, as you say, and uh, the the whole weekend. I think uh, we can chalk up to uh, being a dramatic success once again for the VW Racing Cup. 